No, it's pretty easy to tell when a horse has a mouthful of salt, isn't it? Look at that slobber coming out. Time for another little visit with the critters up at Williams Creek, folks. See the fawns have still got their spots and, and the bucks are ready to get the antlers stripped off with the velvet. Our wolves are making a visit over to Goliath's spot. And we see Chester coming down for a drink at the bridge. Here's Titan. I haven't named that other lighter gray yet. We're going to have to come up with a nice name for him. Romulus. Just coming in from behind here. Look at the size of that horse, folks. So Titan is the larger and the darker gray. And then we have our winter barn crew here. This is Grayson coming in with his mares. Now, I'm looking at that mare on the far right, folks, and I don't know, she still looks like she's carrying to me. I think we're going to have a late foal there. Now, here's a complete little family of whitetails. Looks like they got the two young ones, dad and the mom, all here together. And got Harley over here at the Winter Barn with his crew and there's Chester up in the pines. We don't actually have a name for that fella, nor do we for this guy. But certainly this fella seems to be on a mission. This is just looking from a different camera. I think they figure they're late for dinner or something. So let's have a look at uh, Harley's little family here. You can see Halo, that little roan filly. And then Bonita comes out to say, hello, hello, Halo. Then Halo's mom comes over just to keep an eye on everything. But it looks like those two little fillies are getting along just great. And here's a real close-up look at a Bay Roan. This is Trojan. And there's Tia. Trojan and Tia. Our two Bay Roans. This is Maverick's band. Now look at the size of Marshall for, his, for a yearling. And right behind him is Ringo. Ringo's coming too, and so is Magnum. This fella's quite an icon also, little old Maverick. Here's Thor and Gibson at one of our new winter barns that we made. It's good to see them checking out some of these new spots. Looks like Mitch the Moose has got most of the velvet off his antlers. Hunting season opens up here soon and he's going to have to be careful. But right now nothing's chasing him so it's a good time to Lay down and have a little bit of a rest. This is where we put JD's carcass and I'm out with my good friend Ken. We're just pulling in here to give Butch some, uh, some treats.
There's not many horses in this spot right now at this time of year. They're all spread out. And once again, we got Titan. A little buck coming out on the wolf cam. That's a pretty spot, isn't it, folks? Now, oh, look at this. Goliath still has his colt. And this mare and these two young fillies are with a new stallion. This mare and the two fillies used to be with JD. Here's Grayson again with his mares. This is becoming one of our favorite spots right here. This is Goliath Station. It's such a pretty spot to visit. And here's Goliath himself. And you know, I didn't realize until now that he had a pretty good injury at one point on his butt. Of course, it's all healed up. And so is Buck, by the way. You remember Buck that had the big patch out of his bum? That's almost closed up now. And of course, here's uh, Thor again with Gibson and their band. And Trojan again and Tia. Now, folks, I'm just going to run this out for a little bit here because I was getting such a kick out of watching this fella try and take care of that itch. You know, when you don't have fingers, you just got to do what you gotta do and he he has a heck of an itch here to take care of you wonder how some of these little saplings get knocked over and bent and broke well it's because these guys use them he's just having a great time there trying to get all that rubbing in the right place and of course that's why our horses love when we come out and scratch them Another nice look at Halo and her mom and the other mare. This little guy on the right, we call him Flash. They've taken quite a little hike to get down to that spot. And here's Harley again. And Halo. Halo was actually born a little bay, if you can believe that. She has lightened right up. In fact, if you look at her bum, you can kind of see that she's still got that dark bay in there. <laughs> well, not really a dark bay, but she definitely was that color when she was born. This is Gibson. And this is our boogie tree for the bear cubs. This is up where Butch lives, and I don't know where these fellas came from. Probably came a little bit from the east over the ridge. And there's the uh, little fillies again from JD's band. And their new daddy. Notice uh, some of the little colts and fillies are all laying down here in the winter barn. And that's why we go and try and move up as much debris as we can, folks, so that they have a safe place to lay down without getting poked and prodded and, and cut. You can see Halo is just out like a light. <coughs> Thor was having a little discussion with his uh, young lad there, Gibson. Looks like this fella's already been down rolling once or twice, but he's going down for the count again. He just wants to get good and dirty to keep the flies off. 
There's our good buddy Goliath. We haven't seen Rebel for a while. I'm sure somebody's probably thinking about that. And uh, of course, Rebel lost his colt within just a few days. We did lose quite a few this year again. I don't actually have a count on it, but we'll have to kind of keep track of the ones we do have, folks, and hopefully they can make it through to be yearlings. Just because these babies get to the size they are now doesn't mean they're out of the woods to get through the winter and into the next spring yet. Not sure who this guy is, but it looks like it's a stallion. Harley, you've got quite a story behind you here, don't you, pal? When we first started seeing you, you were so dark. We didn't know who you were the next year when you lightened up for a while. I know. Remember when you used to have that pretty little mare called Hannah? This is Hannah right here, Harley. This is who your, uh, who your mare was. And this was your last year's baby, Hayes. Unfortunately, Hayes only was with them for a few days and we lost him. And we don't know where Hannah is. Hannah just simply disappeared one day and we just, just really don't know what happened to her. This is Marshall. Look at this little guy growing. That's Maverick's young lad. He's so handsome. And this is Ringo. That sounds kind of serious, folks, but actually they're good buddies. Oh, oh Maverick. Gibson wasn't coming in to do anything bad. That wasn't very nice. Okay, well, I guess you're just being a horse. This is Dude's Band. This little colt doesn't have a name yet. <laughs> it's quite the markings on that colt. Well, once again, folks, you can see why we go out and pick up all the sticks and branches and roots and toss them all aside just to make a safe place for these horses to lay down. The halo is really checking out here. Trojan and Tia. Boy, she came so close to losing that right eye last year. Now this little filly, that's a that's another uh, uh, one from Bell's band with Bonita and Bell. It's a younger one. Now look at this. Gibson is uh, helping groom this other mare in Thor's band. This is the Baron mare. But they're having quite a time grooming each other. Another very handsome colt. And there's Gibson and Marshall playing it up in the back there. This mare is from Bill's band. Now, this is when Patty and Merv Defoe were coming with their machine. The horses heard them coming. Keeping an eye on them. Fritz and Francine, way up at this end of the valley again. They really have a liking for that salt block. 
she's getting a good rub of that salt all over her. A lot of folks were asking about Bond, and he actually showed up here a couple of weeks back. Well, folks, you all know what that means. And these are the little fillies from JD's band. Of course, JD is no longer with us. Well, this is kind of interesting, folks. This is where Barb and I were coming in to change trail cam cards and a couple of our regulars were sitting in the winter barn there and they get pretty comfortable when we're there and they just decide, well, they're going to come over and have a lick of salt whether we're there or not. We get along pretty good with these guys. We haven't seen Ziggy for a little while. These are the guys that usually hang out with uh, Ziggy. But they're definitely comfortable with us and likewise. They hear us coming and so do the squirrels. The squirrels come running out as soon as we arrive. And folks, there's a, another video put up by Hawes. I have my sister out from Ottawa visiting this week, so we're going to be kind of missing in action here for a couple of days. We'll catch you on the next one.